Hello. Hi, Shesley. Oh, thank you, girl. I just... <laughs> I put a couple of curls in it, but I, I don't even curl it. Hi, Evangelist Cole. Hi, Courtney. I don't curl it because by the time I get on my bike, it's just going to mess up. It's better to just plait it, but it's Good Friday. Hi. Yes. Chesley, I got your text, girl. Thank you. I, I'm like, is this for real? I'll text you. Oh, my God. I, I'm just so behind. Hey, Jay. How are you? <laughs> I'm just stopping in, you guys, to just say hello. It's Good Friday. I did not want to get up. I was in a deep sleep. I didn't wake up until after 10 o'clock. What in the world? <laughs> oh, my God. So I am completely behind. Sabrina, this not purple, my love. It look purple? Yeah, well, okay. It's more like a wine. Hi, Pam. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So listen, y'all. I just wanted to stop in. I'm trying to be consistent. Y'all pray for me because I'm trying all these different streaming platforms and it makes me want to cry because i wish that like sometimes i wish that in the kingdom of god that people would share information well people don't share information and so you have to go through trial and error and all this other kind of stuff um i'm trying to find something that's um that's easier um i have something that i think is going to be a goal um, which will allow me to stream on um, like 30 different platforms, even though I'm not on 30 different platforms. Yeah, it was some good rest, girl. God told me that he was going to let his people rest and recover, that when we go to sleep, we would rest and recover. And so I've been having some very deep sleeps. So I thank the Lord because I actually do even feel better um, now that I had so much sleep. Um, but pray for me um, that the Lord would just allow me to come in contact with the resources that I need to do the things that he desires for me to do. So on yesterday, I mentioned to you guys how um, God has graced my life and allowed me um, to do something called the prayer incubator. Um, and it's something that I host in October last year was my first year. Um, I consider it to be a success because whenever the power of God is present, the anointing of God is present, the word of God is present, I don't care about the number of people. Amen. But um, the power of God was just so rich. The prayers, the teaching on prayer, the fact that I had the honor of having my apostle there and um, Dr. Deborah Brown, um, Prophet Vereen was there. And then that was there was me. Um, Prophet Vereen actually did the, um, the, um, yes, Alex, I definitely will pray regarding the COVID and I do often pray, uh, practically every day about it. Um, Prophet Vereen did, um, the prayer incubator reloaded. So what I'm going to do, um, because guess what you guys, for the most part, we're incubated. <laughs> Quarantine is another word for incubation, as far as I'm concerned. You're shut off, you're closed in, only certain people can come in contact with others. And so God was speaking to me on yesterday and he said, Kiza, this is incubation. Hallelujah. And so I just love the Lord. And so what I am going to do, I am going to reach out to um, certain people um, as the Lord drops them in my spirit. And we are going to begin uh, prayer incubator. Wow. We're going to begin prayer incubator 2020 while we are in the midst of this quarantine. So we don't have to wait until October. We can just get this thing started right about now. Amen. Because people all over the world are praying. And so I am feverishly searching for the right platform. Y'all pray for me. Um, I wouldn't say that I am a perfectionist, but Evangelist Cole says that I just like things done a particular way. And that is so true. And so sometimes I won't do it if I can't make sure it's going to be done right. And so out the gate, I want to make sure that the platform is correct. Um, 
And so, yeah, y'all pray for me. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing. Um, captured like Hannah. All right. You feel like Hannah was captured? Oh, we got to talk about that. Evangelist Cole. And Hannah was captured? Break that down, girl. You and Jesus been talking, huh? Hannah was captured. How was Anna captured? Hannah was captured. Every year she went up um, to Shiloh. She prayed. I don't know, girl. We're going to talk. Let me do this live. We're going to talk, but you can type it in. And this is why I'm so excited. I'm so excited about one of the platforms I found because it allows me to put the chat. Like if I go into a chat with you, it allows the chat to um, be seen by everybody on, on the, um, the streaming platform. And so I'm excited about it. Hallelujah. I just can't run it all myself. Thank you, Lord. Oh, she wants to talk about it offline. Okay, we can talk about it offline. All right. And so we are incubated, you guys. Um, for the most part, um, the only certain people can touch us. Like we're only willing to take the risk to be around certain people, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. It's Good Friday, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hi, my pastor is on the scene. Hi, pastor. Oh, hey, elder. Uh-oh, Sabrina, you in trouble, girl. <laughs> the elder is online, and he wants to understand the capturing, too. Oh, neman Dios say. <laughs> Woo! When preachers get together, Lord. Oh, my God. I want to understand the capturing, too. Uh, but I know that Evangelist Cole is a woman of prayer, and so she stays in the presence of God. So he had to speak something to her in order for her to say it because she cautious too, Elder. Hallelujah. Oh, you're talking about Pastor Hannah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not Hannah in the Bible. All right, Elder, let's get off her. Let's get off her. Hi, Pastor. Let's get off of her. She's talking about Pastor Hannah. So she said that Pastor Hannah was talking about... Um, <laughs> I play in the Holy Ghost too much. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is all I got, sir. <laughs> he won't leave me. He won't forsake me. He won't cheat on me. <laughs> the Holy Ghost is all I got. And I'm on the OC. And I love him because I'm the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. The Bible says he'll go down to Egypt for my ransom. He'll pay the price because he finds me worth it. Ah, yeah, I say. Nobody can contend with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Laughter does good like medicine. So Pastor Hannah was saying that um, that we are captured. Mm, yeah, so captured. We are incubated. Hallelujah. And Pastor Hannah don't like it because he says that he's an extrovert. I'm, for the most part, um, an introvert. I wouldn't say I'm 100% an introvert, but I don't mind being alone. Thank you, Pastor G. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I don't mind being alone. Um, I don't like to be alone all the time, but I don't mind. I don't need a lot of people. Hallelujah. Um, but yeah. And so, Elder, hey, there we go. Would you like to be the first one to participate in the prayer incubator online? Yes, I'm asking you in front of all these people, Elder Clarence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you are a man of prayer. Would you like to be my first guest? In the prayer incubator 2020. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was the Holy Ghost. The Bible says it's nobody but the quick and the dead. And he dropped it just like that. So I'm asking you. Don't try to get out of it now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. So it is Good Friday. Look, we waiting for his response. It is Good Friday. It seems like an oxymoron because our Lord and Savior was crucified. Oh, <laughs> he said he going to call me. <laughs> Okay. All right. Hallelujah. Well, the invitation is still yours. We can just schedule the dates. We'll see what you got to say. Um, and so um, the fact that we call it Good Friday, it seems like an oxymoron. I didn't come on here to do like all this great teaching because I'm so excited um, to just get home and to tune in and to be online um, because of all this prayer that's going to be going on on tonight. Um, but it is, it, it would seem like an oxymoron because we call it Good Friday and our Lord and our Savior was actually crucified 
um, we might not know the exact day, um, but it's the representation of the day that he was in fact crucified. And even though it was such a painful time, um, the reason that I imagine we can call it good is because if he had not endured the cross, we would not have a right to the tree of life. Amen. So the Bible gives us to know um, that if it had not been for the shedding of blood, that there would be no remission of sin. And so I just feel like his presence just all in my heart because you, I mean, to know how you live and to know how you fall short, you know, and to just think about all that he went um, through for us. The Bible says that they spat on him, right? They put a crown of thorns on his head. The Bible tells us that they whipped him with the cat of nine tails. The cat of nine, cat of nine tails was like this ball and it had spikes on it. Um, and it was designed that when it came in contact with the flesh, it would go into the flesh. And when they pull it back, it would rip the skin out. And the scripture gives us to know it was the Romans custom, you know, to beat you 40 times minus one. So in other words, 39 times he had to endure the lashing of the cat of nine tails. And scientifically, they say that all sickness and disease can be categorized into 30, 39 different different categories. Amen. I might need to invite my son to come in and teach on that since he's the scientist of the family. Um, but the fact of the matter is that everything that he went through, it was designed so that there would be shedding of blood. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that he endured the cross for the passion that was set before him. He endured the cross for the joy that was set before him. And the joy was that he looked, he looked down the pipe. He looked down the ages. He looked through the scope of time and he saw Kiza. And he knew that I would need a savior. He looked through the scope of time and he saw you, Pastor G, and he knew that you would need a savior. Hallelujah. And even though he was in pain, and he felt the rejection of the father because the Bible tells us that our sin separates us from God. The Bible tells us that he began to cry out from the cross. You got to understand that he had never experienced separation from the father. And he began to cry out, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabak. To me. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Because we understand that sin stinks in the nostrils of God. Hi, and the Bible says, I know I'm giving y'all a lot, but I'm just giving it to you from my scripture, but from my spirit, but you can find it in the word. The Bible says, cursed is he that hang upon the tree. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And so he took on the curse. And I must say, because we understand that the curse, it brings about death. We understand that the first covenant, the law. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It brings about death, but he had to endure the cross that we might receive the better covenant, the new covenant. Hallelujah. He did away with the curse of the law, not the law itself, but the curse of the law. The fact of the matter that we don't have to die. We don't have to be sick. We don't have to be broke. Hallelujah. That was uh, the penalty of the curse of the law. And you've got to understand that we're experiencing this whole holy week and this good Friday in the midst of what's going on. On with this coronavirus. It's a, it's a reminder, hallelujah, that Jesus already paid the price. He already shed the blood. He already defeated death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. And he did it for the likes of you and I. He, it, when nothing takes him by surprise, where we are, where we fall short, what we go through, he did it for our protection. He did it so that the curtain of the temple could be rent from top to bottom, that we would no longer need a mediator. Hallelujah. He did it so that the walls a partition could be torn down. He did it so that we could get between the porch and the altar for ourselves. He did it so that we didn't have to and I'm on the side, have another priest to stand proxy for us uh, because we understand according to the word of God that never ever had a high priest become the sacrifice uh, but he was priest and prophet and sacrificial lamb and he did it for the likes of you and I. And so for this cause, we can say that it's Good Friday because our Savior, he paid the price. He died for his friend. Hey, now, my He gave his life. He shed his blood. He endured.
Hallelujah. For the likes of you and I. And so we love him. Hallelujah. And we acknowledge Father Hinaya that even now we're not worthy, but we thank you. Hallelujah. For your love for us. It covered uh, the multitude of our sin. Your love for us. Uh, it's progressive. It's still covering. Hallelujah. Our sin. Your love, God, it covers us so much in Ansiatabaya that when the Father looks upon us, he sees the shed blood. Hey, say anybody thankful for the blood of Jesus. If you're thankful, then lift your hands. Thank you, Lord, for your shed blood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for enduring the cross. He was smitten in Amasia. They pierced him in his side, and the Bible says that water and blood came out. Rivers of living water and the blood of the sacrifice and I'm uh, the atoning blood of the lamb and I uh, and for that cause we are forgiven and I'm a security I saw and we give you honor and praise uh, and we glorify your name and so father even though we're quarantined and even though we're incubated and even though we're shut down and even though we're shut in and even though we've been captured uh, and even though we are restricted God we say thank you and I'm a because we know that all things are working together for our good. Hey, God, we thank you because you're giving us an opportunity to think about it. Hey, God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Because even now we know, God, that Resurrection Sunday is never about the clothes. It's never about the look. It's never about the eggs or what the eggs represent. But it's all about the price that you paid. And so now, God, you've given us a moment to think about it. And if we had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for all that you are. And thank you for all that you've done. And so, Father, we just humble ourselves under your mighty hand. And with sincerity of heart, Lord, we just simply say thank you. There's nothing, Lord, that we could ever do to deserve all that you have done and all that you have endured. Nothing, Father, that we could ever do to deserve the fight, God, and the price that you paid and how you fight for us continually and you make intercession for us and you stand proxy for us and you're our mediator and you are continually the propitiation for our sins. God, if we had 10,000 tongues, excuse me, it still would not be enough. Thank you, Lord, for your shed blood. Thank you that we have been redeemed from the curse of the law. Thank you, Lord, that sickness need not be our portion. Thank you, Father, for your grace and for your mercy. Thank you for loving us so. And so we honor you on today. We honor your sacrifice. We don't ask you for anything. Today is just simply a time of thanksgiving. Can you just thank the Lord with me? Just be thankful unto him and bless his name. Can you just give him glory and honor? Can you just praise him? Can you cry out Hosanna? Can you cry out Abba Father? Can you cry out King and Lord? Can you cry out Lamb of God? Can you just worship him on today? Hallelujah. In honor of all that he has done. Hallelujah and all that he is still doing. Thank you, Lord. God, we just glorify you. We bless your name. We magnify you because we know, God, that in all things, hallelujah, it's already covered. Because you don't fail us, God. And so we glorify your name. We exalt you, Lord God, and we give you the praise and the honor. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the righteous branch. You are the Holy One of Israel. You are the Ancient of days. You are the root of Jesse. You are, yes, my savior. You are the lover of my soul. Come on, y'all. Help me worship him. Hallelujah. What has he been to you? You are the I am that I am. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the door. You're rivers of living water. You're the air that we breathe. You are the first and the last. You are God. And we bless you. Yes, you are the vine. And I'm and we are the branches. And I'm You are God, and we are your children. And I'm on.
And we bless you. Hallelujah. We give you glory. And my whole flesh, my body, my fiber wants to praise him. And anybody, hallelujah, every fiber of your being is responding in worship. Hallelujah. And adoration and praise. Hallelujah. Yeah, come on, help me, Sheila. You're the rock of ages. Hallelujah. Hey, You're the wheel in the middle of the wheel. You're the horse and rider balancing the crowns of victory on your head. Hey, God, Nemosai. You're a consuming fire. Yes, God, you're the bread of heaven. The air that we breathe, the brighter morning star. Man, I say, the lily in the valley. The fourth man in the fire. And we bless your name. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Help me. The beginning and the end. The altar and the finisher. The fire. The Alpha and the Omega. Yes, Lord. The voice of thunder. Hey, God. You're our intercessor. You're our advocate. You're our mediator. You're glorious. You're Elohim. You're Shama. You're Rohai. You're Rapa. You're El Elyon. You are I am. That I am. The God of the covenant. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey, God. The ancient of days. Help me worship. Miracle worker. Yay, God. He who was and is and is to come. The soon coming king. The bright and morning star. Yay, God. He's an eye. Our lawyer, our advocate, am I? Yes, Lord God. Our hiding place and I. Our healer, men I. Yay, Sheila. Emmanuel. Yes, Lord. Your God with us and I. Yes, Lord. The rock of ages and I'm Yay, God. The bomb of Gilead. You're our deliverer. Yes, evangelist. Echo Hallelujah. Yay, God. The road. Of Sharon, Isaiah. Yes, Lord, come on, y'all. Worship him, Yanai. We're not asking him on today. We're giving him glory, Yanai. We're giving him honor, Yanai. We're giving him praise in our Messiah. The root of Jesse, Inasei. Yay, God, Nisaiah. You're our banner, Hanai. You're our redeemer, Yandebe. Yay, God, Nisei. Pastor says, You are my God. Hey, Namasai, there are other gods in the land, but you gotta make it personal. He's gotta be your God. He's my Lord, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes, Lord, Messiah. Yea, God, you are our banner, and we give you glory. You are our friend. Abraham said, I am a friend, and I'm a friend of God. Yes, Lord, you're light in utter darkness. Hey, nah, uh, y'all better worship him in this place. And I say, uh, I knew you have it in you. Uh, in you. I know you love him. Uh, uh, you just got to reach out in your spirit uh, and you got to bring it out. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, the voice crying out in the wilderness. Uh, I feel fire in this place. And I'm, I say, uh, uh, yes, Lord God, we bless your name uh, and we give your name the glory. Uh, hallelujah. You are builder. Uh, you are redeemer. Uh, you are way maker, Hanaya. You're restorer, Hana. You're the resurrection and the life, Hana Masaya. And we bless you, Hana Masaya. You are the power. You are the source. Hana na 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 ya say. Yea, God, name Mosan. Hana na yande. Hallelujah. The ancient of days. The rock of ages, Hatania. The holy one of Israel. Namandi. Yea, God, name I. The prayer answering God, name I. God of the whole world, God of the covenant, Yanai, and your name is Jesus, and I, a consuming fire, and I, yay, God. 
Thank you, Lord. Uh, you are the potter. Hallelujah. Uh, you are our shepherd and I. Uh, you're a good shepherd uh, and a good father. Uh, and we bless your name. Hallelujah. Uh, and we give your name glory. Hallelujah. Uh, on this good Friday, uh, we celebrate you, O oh God. Uh, hallelujah. Name I say on the by, uh, Priest and prophet. Uh, lamb that was slain. Uh, lover of my soul. Uh, lifter of my head. Uh, mender of my womb. Uh, healer and waymaker, uh, we bless you. Nehemiah uh, say, Hallelujah! Uh, the air that I breathe, uh, the song that I sing, uh, my heart's joy in uh, my uh, the chief cornerstone. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we worship, uh, we magnify, uh, we glorify. Uh, hey, God, Nehemiah say, uh, you are a keeper, honey. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, our hiding place, and uh, I. Yes, Lord, Nehemiah. Uh, our safety net, uh, our leaning post, and I under, uh, yea, God, name I, uh, our battle axe, uh, our shield, name I, uh, a mighty fortress, uh, is our God, name I under by, uh, yea, God, name, uh, you are cloud by day, uh, and fire by night, he night, uh, yea, God, name of Sai, uh, your miracle worker, uh, yes, Lord, name I, uh, a mighty deliverer, honey, uh, yes, Lord, uh, the Lord of hosts and I, uh, yes, Lord, name I, uh, Tiskanu, Henaya, Ikanamandio, uh, Adonai, Hirabandio, uh, yes, Lord, name I, uh, we bless you, uh, and we give you praise, and I see I'm ready to say, uh, hallelujah, 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 you are shelter, Hanamai, uh, yeah, God, name I, say, Yandabai, uh, hallelujah, glory to your name, uh, Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 You are our portion. You're exceeding great reward. You're the ram in the bush. Yes, Lord, we bless you. Our dwelling place. You are holy. Come on, somebody call him holy. Come on, join the angels and the 24 and call him holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy, uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, holy, 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 uh, who was and is and is to come, uh, holy, 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 uh, yeah, God, you're holy, uh, somebody cry holy, and I'm on your side, uh, holy, 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 uh, holy, and I'm on your side, holy, and I'm on your side, holy, and I'm on your side, if you worship him, he'll take you into a place uh, that you've never been before, honey, uh, holy, and I'm on your side, Holy he nigh. Hey God, only pure in heart shall see God. For they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Anything with breath can praise him. But not everybody can worship. Lift your voice in Namasay. Holy on Namasay on the by. Holy, 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 holy. Thou art holy in Namasay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Namasay. He's our Savior. Sanctifier, hey God, name Messiah. He's our leaning post, and I, hey God, he's our restorer, Hanamai. Hey God, name I say, yes Lord, yes Lord. You should feel the fire, I say, because when you worship, he inhabits, and I, when you praise, he inhabits. He comes to where you are. He shifts your mind. He shifts your life. He shifts your focus, and I. When you worship him, and I, he just won't worship him. I'm I, hey, God, anybody can worship him so much that you can remind him that it was worth it. Hey, not my day. It was worth it for him to pay the price that he could take a people who was not his people, that he would be their God and that they would be his children. Let him know it was worth it. Lift your voice and worship. Hallelujah. And I'm I say, your side. Hallelujah. Mm, God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your fire. I pray, God, that it would hover over your people for the next seven days. I pray, God, that your presence that we're experiencing right now, that it would hover over your people like a hen brooding over their chicks in the next seven days. For the next seven days, God, I declare glorious testimonies, even in the midst of this incubation, even in the midst of this quarantine, even in the midst of this isolation. Yeah, God, for when they went up in the upper room, they were isolated. When they went up in the upper room, they had shut everybody else out. It was just them and Jesus. And whoever you're quarantined with, that's your upper room. That's your incubator. Incubator. Begin to worship him. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you would come out with Holy Ghost and fire. And I say, if you're not already filled, I pray that you would be filled. And if you're already filled, I pray that you would be refilled. I pray that the living God would ignite your fire because you were willing to participate in this worship on today. God, we bless your name. Pour it out, God. Pour out your fire. Pour out press Pour out press fervor. Pour out a press seat, God. In the name of Jesus, restore our souls, God. In the name of Jesus, restore our passion. Yea, God, take us back to our first love of you. Restore our hunt, God, that we might hunt for you like the woman with the lost coin. In the name of Jesus, restore our pursuit, God. For as the deer pants after the water brook, so shall pant my soul after thee, O God. Do it in the name of Jesus. For one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may know him in the beauty of holiness, that I may inquire in his temple. In the name of Jesus, and I, we pray now, God, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, we pray, God, that you will blow in our direction. We pray, God, that you would breathe on us. We pray, God, that in response to our worship, that you will take us higher, that you will take us deeper, that you will pour out a fresh anointing, that you will pour out fresh revelation. It's not about us, God, but it's all about you. Oh, that we may know you, Lord, in the beauty of holiness and in the fellowship of your suffering. Oh, that we may know you, Lord, that we may hide in the secret place. Oh, that we may know you, Lord, that we may desire your word more than our necessary bread. Oh, that we may know you, Lord, that we will lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset us. Pour it out on us, God. We want you. We need you. In the name of Jesus, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. But in the book of Acts, they were filled again. Even now, I release a new prayer tongue. I release a new worship. I release a new octave of praise. I release new heights in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, and I, yeah, God, name on I know my in the name of Jesus we ask oh God that you will fill our lungs with the oil of the anointing in the name of Jesus we ask oh God that when we open our mouth that you would fill it that you would fill it for your glory fill it for your honor fill it for your worship fill it for your praise for the harvest is plenteous but the laborers they are few and here we are God hey now my for you said seek my pace and I speak for everybody on this feed and I say, Lord, that pace will we seek. If you're in agreement, you got to type it in. Say, Lord, that pace will I seek. And I, evening, morning, and at noon, will I seek you. I, when you bid me come, I'll answer yes. When you ask me, God, to stand in the gap, I'll say, Father, here am I. And I know my. Hey, Yes, Lord, yeah, God, for you told us, God, that you will make your name great amongst the Gentile people. You told
told us, God, uh, that you would use us for your glory. Uh, you told us, God, uh, that wheresoever we go, uh, that you would go with us. Uh, that if we open up our mouth, uh, that you would speak for us. Uh, and here we are uh, without one plea. Uh, we humble ourselves today uh, under your mighty hand. Uh, we humble ourselves uh, under the work of the cross. Uh, we humble ourselves uh, to your divine will for us. Uh, and we say, yes, Lord. Uh, yes to your will. Uh, and yes to your way. Uh, but yesterday's deaths won't do. Uh, anybody got another yes? Uh, lift your voice and say, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, my soul say yes. Uh, I give you another yes. Uh, an eternal yes. Uh, yes to your will. Uh, yes to where I am right now. Uh, yes to what I'm going through. Uh, yes to what I'm feeling. Uh, I bow and worship. Uh, I humble myself to it. Uh, that the will of the Father might be done. Uh, but I know, God, uh, that you didn't bring me this far to leave me. Uh, I know, God, uh, that you're on the throne. Uh, I know, God, uh, none can shake you from where you are. Uh, none can contend with you. Uh, and if you brought me here, uh, you'll keep me here. Uh, so I commit myself to you. Uh, but that which is committed unto you, uh, you're just and faithful enough to complete it. Uh, so I say, yes, Lord. Uh, but I know uh, he who has begun a good work in me, uh, you're just and faithful enough to finish it. Uh, I stand proxy for my family. Uh, if you want to stand as an intercessor uh, on behalf of your family, uh, lift your hand on my uh, and say, I stand proxy. Uh, I stand proxy for my family. Uh, I say yes to my children. Uh, yes to my husband. Uh, yes to my mother. Uh, yes to my wife. Uh, yes to my father. Uh, yes to my bloodline. Uh, as for me and my bloodline, uh, we will serve the Lord. And I underby uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, but you are the resurrection and the life. Uh, and so we bless your name. And we call this Friday good. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Namasi anai. Yes, Lord. Namase yo. Yes, Lord. Namase. Yes, Lord. Namasi. Yes, Lord. Anai. Yes, Lord. Nai. Yes, inase ye. Yes, Lord. Na yanda ba. Yes, inase yo ma. Yes, Lord. Namaya na. If you want the spirit of prayer, lift your hand. Nama namase. Right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, because you told me, God, according to your word, uh, that whatsoever I bind on earth is already bound in heaven. Uh, and whatsoever I loose on earth is already loose in heaven. Uh, and so right now in the name of Jesus, uh, I loose the spirit of prayer. Uh, and I bind it to everyone under this feed. Uh, I loose God. A prayer, a prayer that's hot with fire. Uh, I loose an effectual fervent praying spirit now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. I cast down fleshly prayers. Uh, and I declare God that everyone in this seed, uh, they shall begin to pray from the third realm of the spirit. Uh, they shall begin to pray from the heart of God. Uh, I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that they shall tap into your vein uh, and they shall pray what's on the mind of Christ. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I release now uh, an infusion of your spirit, God, uh, with an infusion of our spirit. And I declare now in the name of Jesus uh, that we are unified with Christ uh, and that we will pray, and the earth will respond, in the name of Jesus, and we bless your name, and we give you glory, hallelujah, I declare God that this day we are changed, and will never be the same again, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory, Lord, hallelujah, we give you honor, Hallelujah. We give you praise and anamasiya. Hallelujah. 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 Give me a minute. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. Nanamasiya. Hallelujah. Masuna nanamasiya. Hallelujah. Nenomayo na yea. Glory and I'm a son of my own, yeah. Hallelujah, Nessie and I'm a young, yeah. Hallelujah, Nemanayo, yeah. 
Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I know we don't like it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But the Lord just reminded me that incubation is good. Hallelujah. The sole purpose for incubation is the preservation of life. And so we are quarantined. We are captured. We are, you know, we are shut in for the most part. Hallelujah. God, I love him. Hallelujah. And it's uncomfortable. Hallelujah. Because you can only go so far. You can only move within the parameters that have been set for you. But the whole sole purpose of the creation of the incubator was to preserve life. God, I love you, Lord. Ah, God, he's letting me know that it's so much more than I ever knew because I never knew that this year would be like this. I never knew that this was coming down the pike and incubation is created solely for the preservation of life life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Without the incubator, the babies would die. And so we've been shut down. We've been quarantined. We've been restricted. We have been incubated. God has set our parameters. God has made the decision who we will come in contact with and who we won't come in contact with because we are incubated. And it's not to stop you. It's not to block you. It's not to strip you of everything. It's not to put you in a poor place, but it's to preserve your life. You know, Monet say, yeah. For without the incubator, hallelujah, without the controlled environment, without the temperature being just right, without the skilled personnel, those that are essential, you won't make it. And so we've been incubated. And when you come out, out of the incubator, your lungs will be stronger. Your organs will be stronger. You'll be ready to be exposed to the earth again and the elements thereof. Hey, God. Prepare yourself because we're coming live with this incubator. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. And we give you praise. But this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Try not to touch my face. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. God, we bless your name and we give your name the glory and the honor and all the praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, all of you who have joined in for this Good Friday. Hallelujah. I am so not my own because I did not my intent was even not where all of this went. I was coming to say hello and good Friday and that I'm preparing myself to tune in to all the prayer that's going to be going on because I intend to spend my good Friday praying with the men and women of God. And God said, well, hey, listen, I got another plan for right now. And so we just yield to it. Hallelujah. It's an honor and a privilege to be used by God. You got to let him use you while he want to use you because he's always raising up somebody else. Amen. Apostle taught me that a long time ago. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He is a creative God and he's always creating something new. Hallelujah. And so you got to let him use you while he want to use you. And so we are honored on today. I mean, I don't need to even ride my bike. I'm just sweating y'all up in here and this air condition is blazing and I'm just ah, sweating. Jesus, listen, you guys love on the people that love you. Maybe take the time and think about, you know, all the people that you normally would like to hug if you could hug. Amen. And when we come out of this, remember this experience, the fact that you couldn't necessarily hug <clears throat> the people that you love to hug. Like my son, you know, he's young and he's in school and he went to his grandma's and he was just so hurt, you know, because it's his grandma and <clears throat> these young people excuse me, they're everywhere. And he called me so upset. He said, mama, I couldn't even hug my grandma. He was just so upset because he could not hug her. Amen. And so you cannot take things for granted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Evangelist Cole said, preachers are essential. Yes, they are. Preachers are essential. Preachers, intercessors, worshipers, Judah has to go first. They are essential for your spiritual survival. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And if your spirits prosper, your soul will begin to prosper. Your natural life will begin to prosper also. So don't take it for granted. 
You know, if you love somebody, tell them. Just because they upset you and you're angry with them, it doesn't mean you don't love them anymore. Amen? Because you never know. You might not get the opportunity to do it. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Pray for me. Pray that I would be the woman of God that God would call me to be. Hallelujah. Pray that God would help me to get the resources in place for the things that he has placed in my heart to do. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry, on yesterday I ran a test with like seven different people and I wasn't actually satisfied with the outcome of that particular one. So I'm going to be back at it again. Again, you guys, my my test babies, I'm not going to say test dummies, my test babies, <laughs> you know who you are. So if you get something from me, it's me testing the system, amen, so that we can do the thing that God has called us to do. Hallelujah. Viruses are out there. You know, things are out there. But the work of the Lord cannot cease. Amen. I love you. Enjoy your good Friday. Hallelujah. Wish I had some fish and grits right about now. I'm not superstitious, but I love fish and grits. So I wish I had some. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Pastor G. I love you, Sheila. Listen, I am honored that you guys tune in to pray with me. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. And so I thank God for it. Amen. Hallelujah. You guys have a wonderful day. Remember to share this. Um, if you haven't shared it now, share it on your feed. Um, invite people, you know, to follow the page or whatever, or to join us in prayer. Amen. I love you. Until we meet again, be safe. Wash your hands. Keep your hands out of the major portals, out of your eyes, out of your nose, near your mouth, and even your ears, one nurse said. These are access points to the inside of your body, so you got to be careful. Hallelujah. Wash your hands. You should be washing them at least every 30 minutes if you can. Hallelujah. Wash your hands and do your part, and God will do the rest. Amen. I love you. Until we meet again, which today is Friday, so I'll meet you in the morning. If it be God's will, we'll be praying for from the sanctuary. All right. I'm out. Bye.